The radio frequency ablation system consists of a generator, foot switch, grounding pads, electrode, and a peristaltic pump. The internal cooling of the electrode reduces the temperature of the adjacent tissue in order to prevent carbonization. This allows the emission of energy to achieve a wider ablation zone. Grounding pads are required to complete the electrical circuit. About 20 to 30 percent of women at childbearing age have myomas, which may cause severe pain, frequent urination, and excessive bleeding. There are four types of myoma, and the most common one is intramural. RF Medical's VCTM electrode has a variable exposure tip which can be adjusted according to the size of myoma to be treated. The length of the electrode varies from 20 cm to 35 cm and the length of the active tip can be adjusted from the handle. The electrode is connected to the generator and the inflow tube to the peristaltic pump. To perform myoma RFA, a needle guide must be attached to the vaginal ultrasound probe. The needle guide allows the electrode to be inserted parallel to the ultrasound and facilitates myoma targeting. After confirming the position of the myoma with the use of ultrasound, insert the electrode in the myoma and position the active tip in the center. Depending on the size of myoma, the length of active tip and ablation time may differ. Extra caution must be taken in order to avoid heat transmission to nearby organs. This is achieved by under ablation of the myoma. The size of ablated myomas will gradually decrease over time. Hypermenorrhea refers to a case where there is more menstrual blood loss or a longer menstruation period than usual. It is the most common uterine symptom for seeking a doctor, which affects about 10 to 20 percent of women in childbearing age. The hormone imbalance causes the inner wall of the uterus to thicken or the inner surface of the uterus to grow bigger. At the end of menstrual cycle, when the functional layer of the endometrium is at its thinnest, this will be the easiest time to ablate the basal layer of the endometrium. Ablation of the basal layer reduces the production of functional layers during menstruation. RF Medical's EMT electrode is easy to use, effective, and has a short treatment and recovery time. If needed, a HEGAR dilator is used to widen the cervix before inserting the EMT electrode. Practitioner can choose which areas of the uterus to ablate.
One generator can be used to treat myomas and hypermenorrhea by selecting the appropriate mode for the treatment. Radiofrequency ablation can be used to treat thyroid, heart, liver, lung, kidney, pain, varicose veins, etc.